I a woman? Not trying to be anything that we are not, but everything that we are. How could you think that our only name is mother or princess? Oh, I have two, a known son to have given birth, nurtured their bodies to swell like high tide moon, heard a second heartbeat crash against the shores of their soul, and some will rightfully be called superheroes. But somehow you will only notice how their apron doubles as a cape, and they've got to the many job class and the speed of bullet and pulled the family together like a locomotive and fed seven miles with a single loaf of bread. And yes, I've read of those who have sat to the left of kings, known to be warriors, but expected to be mild and weak and tame and soft and easily imposed upon, seen and never heard, desired and not esteemed, but even those who still wait for the right to wear their own shining armor in public still keep daggers between their breasts. So, if it is the meek who shall inherit the earth, then I am proudly from a long line of those who have been stricken from this world's will, those who have inspired with the strength to the possessed in the history of women who have done more than birth and primped women, who have kicked ass and not took names. What would you call them? Those who have trucked through the abolitionary movement, moved vehicles with their bare hands, been accused of assassination, had blood and dirt beneath their nails, passed barred behind barred, became stars, died of radiation just to make it to the heavens, blasted off into the cosmos, set themselves to the front line, staged coup the top and still ruled empires, had their bodies set on fire, was still ordained saintly, plowed and reaped and husked and mowed, sat behind the screens, broke through borders and broke records, spun and script records, spun and script records, danced after hours learned to love as honestly as they laughed aloud. Learned to speak when turned deaf and thought dumb, rode in that front seat, progressed when they couldn't walk, rolled upon the polling station, stood upon that picket line, crossed over finish line, built up building, invented, invested, painted passionate portraits and got put on most wanted papers. What would you call them? Those who have been the rib that inspired the man out of the boy. What would you call us when we have tirelessly shifted from the rules set out for us and still got that job done? Yeah. Call us the Greek poet Tennyson who defended her city by rallying women for battle with war songs, a hotel, Lady Fu Hao, Susan B. Anthony who says man his right and nothing more, woman her right and nothing less. Want us in a Dela Cruz, Queen Gwendolyn, Phyllis Wheatley, Stephanie Corlick, Mrs. Nicole Maines, Indira Gandhi, Wilma Pearl. Killer Tamisha, who bit off her own tongue and spat it at the feet of her interrogators. You, woman, insert your name here. Mine, his truth is, do you still think our only name is mother or princess? Woo!